Welcome back to the adventures of La Baguette of Valois now, not not uh, Vermandois or wherever the hell we were last time. Last episode, obviously, we did that massive, massive rebellion against the French crown and stole Paris itself, which I think is incredible. That's now our new capital. Apparently, it's under siege by me. Oh, do we not on pause? No? Actually, Valois? Paris is ours? Oh, wait, is this the people who have sieged it? Oh, yeah, no, that, that looks a bit more right. Okay, so there we go. So it's actually, um, the, the, wait, what is going on? Sorry, I'm so confused here. So what do these represent? So this is, oh, this is whose province it is. This is whose top level liege it is. And then for some reason we're sieged, but I've no idea where or who by. Who knows? Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. I'm sure it's just a graphical error. I'm sure there's just something I'm not understanding. It doesn't matter too much anyway. We'll set this dude because chance are is better anyway. The AI generally never asks to replace him. Yeah, he's got 21. Look at this. Look at this council, my friends. This is why things like this is uh, possible. So he's insanely good. We're going to ship him off to the Pope to go and improve religious relations because apparently uh, being a good Catholic makes you incredibly powerful. What have you got? You want to ransom my son back? Nope, let him die for all I care. So the reason we're trying to kill him off is because our second born son, Tut Carling, is much, much better. Tall, genius, willful in hiding. Oh, God, can we get him out? Willful's not good. Oh, no, willful is okay. It's the other one that's bad. It's 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 haughty that's bad. Call family out of hiding? Bring family home. Capital holding is not occupied. How do I know that it's occupied? Who is it occupied by? I feel like I'm going crazy here. Wait, oh, is it the trade post? No, no? I, I genuinely feel like I'm going insane. I have no idea who occupies this. Uh, maybe this is... No, 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 because it's it's... That's my liege. I have no idea. Anyway, we won't worry about it too much. I wish they wouldn't change the interface like drastically because now I have no idea what's happening. It doesn't matter too much. We are... I shall renew my dedication to God. Incredible. The path to virtue has cured us of our depression. Fantastic. We are arbitrary. We are ambitious. Both of those not very good for being a saint. Of course, the you know the worst part to being a saint? One thing that definitely won't get you to being a saint. Stealing the seamless robes of Jesus, which is also now ours. Our ability to play tall has been multiplied by that massively. Obviously, our ability to play tall has also been diminished somewhat by the fact that we're now... Wait. Oh, that's it. Chancellor? Oh, God, he's only got eight. That's fine, someone else. It's been massively diminished by the fact that we're now quite a wide, you know, duke. We're essentially a double duke at this stage. Speaking of which, we also have claims. Let's go join court. Yes, we also have claims on... Oh, I need sort of diplomacy as well. Uh, a man, preferably? There we go. Manfredo. A man. Named Manfredo. It couldn't be more appropriate. We also have claims on this one as well, Rethel, which we're going to grab as soon as possible. Um, where is this? Por por portion, which I think is French for a pig. Um, we've also got Rethel, and we've also got... Oh, we've got Orléans as well, which is her capital. Interesting. So we've got two more duchies we could press claims. So we can take this whole duchy and obviously just usurp the title, because we'll have it all. We'll control 100% of it. It's only two provinces. Then this one, we'll have to go to war with the French crown again. But I think we're going to be at truce for a very, very long time. Um... Oh, only three years, though, to be fair. If she's still in this many rebellions, she's also at war with... Um, provincial claim on, on where? Someone? Uh, Bertrand the Zealot. She's also at war with Lancaster, a French ducal conquest of somewhere. That's, that's someone in England, right? That is uh, the, the Lancastrian house there. So we've got some pre-War of the Roses crap kicking off. Um, who, who else is she at war with? The French Revolt. So if this keeps going for another three years, hopefully our numbers will diminish somewhat by then. We can also take her capital again, which I think is, is pretty cool. A little bit rude. And then we'll also try and gain this one in the process here. May you live in harmony, contentment, I accept your gracious offer. Thank you, my friend. Welcome aboard. Goodbye, Bishop. You are terrible. Um, do you want to fabricate any more claims? I mean, why the hell not at this stage? We seem to be uh, pretty much blasting out of control. So everything blue is our kingdom. Everything that blue touches. What do you think we go for next? I think we head up into Belgium. Uh, we could go for... What have we got? we got Artois, Flanders as well. Um, why not? Uh, does this not count as like a titular kingdom of, of Belgium? Maybe we can make for that? Maybe there's a decision. Who the hell knows? I'm tempted to grab these as well. This is all one duke. Um, what's he got? I mean, he's got Bruges, so it's also... Philip the Black of Flanders. Uh, 5,000 men. What's our maximum levy size? But I, th I need to sort of plan this out a little better. 6,000. Now, that's not necessarily his maximum. That's just what he's got now. Oh my god, his maximum's even less. He's got retinues. We could take him if we were at maximum size and had some retinues kicking around as well, which I imagine we can get a fair amount of at this stage, right? 112. I take that back. Our retinues, let's, let's, not, let's not rely on that too much, friends. Um, Belgium? At South, what else have we got? Is that single? Oh, I imagine the Pope wouldn't be too happy if we went to war with a bishop, huh? Um, yeah, I'm going to go north. I'm going to go north and try and forge a kingdom out of sort of the northern areas of France instead. We could also go to war with England at some stage as well. There's going to be a civil war there sooner than later, trust me. That, that's, that's absolutely going to kick off in no time.
So Fabricate Claims on Bruges, because that also has a chance of giving us a claim on Flanders. Now, what else have we got there? Du jour, so we got... And then I assume Artois will obviously be the, the capital duchy. I don't know if you can get a duchy level claim on somebody who doesn't hold a duchy. But we'll wait and see about that one. That's actually not mechanic I'm too sure on. The assassins spread to Syria. Somebody said in the last comment, I like this one. Join the assassins and, and leave the Catholics behind. Not a bad plan. Um, I, I feel like this would be the more ambitious choice. That or Lucifer zone would definitely be the more ambitious choice. Shit, we can join the Hermetics, can't we? Um, oh, Hermetic society is so much better for playing tall. No. Don't try and convince me with your heathen ways. We are a good Catholic and we're going to be a priest. Speaking of which, Blessed Conrad was an exemplar to the true Christian faith. I don't know who he was. Um, St. Conrad the Mer Streaming. The Mer Streaming. Mm, me too. Of Luxembourg. Fair enough. That's where we're going to be, my boys. A saint. And that gives you a bloodline, children? Uh, bloodline? There you go. Blood of St. Conrad. Uh, servitude of great theologians will obviously go really, really nicely with our servitude of great warriors as well. Now, I don't know how long bloodlines last. Someone's going to have to, uh, let me know about that one, because I can't imagine it's too long, right? It seems a bit OP if you were just able to build yourself up generation by generation. I know it was a legit strategy for a bit, but I'm assuming they've nerfed it. An inspiration to us all. Truly he was. Deus Vault and all that. With your wealth, it would be difficult. It would not be difficult to build a Catholic church in Orleon. Ah, uh, wait, do we even have that? What? I mean, it would be, because it's not bloody hours. Um... 25 piety. There were enough churches. That doesn't seem very right. Um, Catholic church in a province we don't control, huh? Do we have part of it, maybe? Oh, no, we absolutely do not. Oh, uh, weird. Okay, sure. That's a wonderful idea. Why the hell not, then? While attending prayer one morning, I noticed my brother, Ualta, bouncing off in his seat. Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, I should wake him before anyone catches on. Think nothing of it. Friend, we're going to make friends with just about every... Look at that. Nice. The county of Bruges is already ours. Oh, God. The debt, please. 5.6 gold per month, though, is actually not bad. Are we collecting taxes, if you don't mind? My good friend, Ranulf. That would be great. Collecting taxes from Paris. Still don't understand why we're sieged here. Oh. Oh. How long's that been there? That shows you who... So, should we not just raise some troops and obviously counter-siege this? That seems like it'd be a good plan, huh? You know, maybe get some taxes and, and reinforcements out of that. Fine. We'll go reinforce Paris. Um, let's obviously bring our armies together, because apparently they're sending more boys. Get out of there. Hey, that's mine now. I'm also a... Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Did we actually... Oh, I thought we just won a war for her then. We got two dudes, though. Hey, that's pretty good for ransoming off her. I'm taking back Paris. I can't believe they put that there. That's... I, I mean, now that I see it, it seems incredibly obvious, huh? Oh, shit. We actually did just win that war for her. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. She's going to lose war against England, though. Speaking of which... Uh, what's the troop looking like now? Oh, 10,000. We've got to be careful, because I imagine she's out for our head now. Does that build a church event that fired... Fulfill this, then? Oh, my God. The Council of... This heresy must be stopped. A Cathar heresy... Oh, what the fuck is going on? A Cathar heresy has been brewing for some time, begun by numerous ascetic priests who espouse strange beliefs regarding there being two gods. A good god who created the spiritual realm and an evil god who created the material realm and all of humanity. My god, not the Council of... It looks like the Council of Japan. Oh no, it's just a dude who, who is in the county of that place that I'm not going to try and pronounce. Perfecti. Yeah, now I kind of have played Cathar a little bit. It's actually not too bad. Um, heresy must be stopped. I'm not really interested in that at all, to be honest with you. We are a good Catholic, and obviously, I suppose as, um, oh man, are you not dead yet? Can we, <laughs> request, how about instead of excommunication, just an execution, huh? He's still in the dungeon, right? Ah, uh, give him some time. He'll be, he'll be gone in no time. Lack an education focus. We probably should educate him, just in case things go, uh, particularly awry with that one. Can we not get him out of hiding? We can call them out of hiding now, right? Bring family home, right? There we go. Thank God for that. Um, you're being educated by her. Who's a better educator? Um, she actually might not be too- Oh, no, no, she's our wife. She's incredibly good. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, she's slothful now, though. When did you become slothful? I thought you were diligent. Uh, that's that's bad, because it, it can uh, end up, you know, affecting his education quite significantly. All right, let's see what I can find, then. Um, sign guardian. Who have we got? Anybody who's patient, diligent is generally my go-to. Uh, what about us? We're not terrible, right? Um, no, we are just utter shit. Arbitrary, paranoid. I mean, humble, ambitious, kind, not too bad, but, I mean, arbitrary, having that kicking around, I really do not like that at all. Um, let's see if we can find an educator. Why the hell not? Patient. Uh, we're still on drawing court. Yes, we're looking for patient, diligent. Patient, diligent. We've got patient, temperate, charitable. That's not too bad. Um, come on, there's got to be someone, right? Surely. Surely someone wants to come to the round with this great, Catholic, diligent, patient, kind, charitable. You are perfect. Invite to court, my friend. He's also got something in his treasury, too. What has he got? The Liu Sculpture. What we should do, also worth mentioning, we should type in Artifact. We should find any characters who have an Artifact who uh, would join our court, because when they die, obviously we'll inherit it, assuming they have no children to pass it on to. Welcome to court. 
You are an incredibly good dude, so I'm going to assign you the Guardian. Sorry. Join my court. Yeah, actually, I would like to make you... Hang on, assign Guardian of... Um, who was it? My good son, Toot, to you. And you are called Maurizio. So let's just quickly go patient. There he is. Excellent. Nice. Okay. He's going to be a much better guardian. Um, he's Italian. Mmm. That seems uh, not so good, huh? French and Italian influence? That's that's just awful. <gasps> Your arbitrary... This is so good. Your arbitrary sense of justice runs contrary to the ideal of a proper man of the Catholic faith. I should make the attempt. 47% chance we lose a trait arbitrary. Please. Come on. We need this right now. Then we can educate our own son. Anything? <gasps> it worked. I no, 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 it did not. <laughs> it's been like, oh, yeah, absolutely worked. No, it did not. Okay, 52 gold there. So why don't we move him out of Bruges? Because the next title that we'll claim then, I suppose we could leave it and upgrade it to a duchy. What's the chance of that happening yearly? 20% uh, chance yearly, though. Five years' time, we could potentially have the duchy of Bruges. So I'm going to leave him there. Why not? Compose a book? Seems like a fairly good plan. In honor of God, that seems like something a saintly guy would do. Right, a really... Oh, God. We lost the trade arbitrary. Hang on, it worked. He's giving me a gift and I should not squander it. 25% chance of being de depressed, 25% chance of gaining stress, I suppose, because we're like, um, because it's supposed to represent, like, suppressing your personality. Anyway, we didn't get any of the negatives either. And we can gain Gregarious. We've just turned this man into an absolute powerhouse of a character who will now educate his own son. Get out Italian. Time for proper French La Baguette Toot Education Conspiracy. Pay for medication, send them on the way, gain piety. That again, oh god, it's put me in so much debt, though. Our piety is only 376. I don't think we're going to be much of a good Catholic here, team. Your Seneschal comes to see you one afternoon. He explains he has devised a plan to bring exotic goods. These events always throw me off because I'm so used to seeing the pictures for them. That, that this Now that they've changed everything, it seems really odd. Let's organize an expedition. We will... Oh, man, we can't really afford it, huh? I guess we'll just hire a crew of bandits. Like I said before, like 8 slash 9 out of 10 times. This seems to work pretty well. I'm going to go with that one. Game 46 gold. Have the priest come along. We've got Gregarious, so we can actually get through some of these events fairly safely. I don't think our learning nor our diplomacy is high enough to get us through some of the other events, but I think we can get, you know, take this one safely and not have to worry about it. Plus, it actually almost pays off our debt. This is none of your business. You can get out. Who cares about some random dude? To foreign lands. We're having these men up. There we go. Oh, we do have enough diplomacy. Shit. I thought it was 15. Man, that must be really low then, huh? We're having these mental life without crime, so we've passed that event. So we've got to deal with the... Well, firstly, there's this one, so we'll give him 30 gold. Then we've got to Oh my god, we've got a high learning too. This is what I was just about to mention. That's so good. You notice, high chief comitas of this guy's face growing red with annoyance as he stares at your steward shoveling food into his face with his bare hands. We're going to succeed. And we've got Gregarious, which, like I said, lets us get past this one as well. We could shout Deus Vault and get him through Ellis and piss him off. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. We are just going to... We're going to take the money. We're going to take the money over sainthood in this scenario, friends. This will be a profitable agreement. Look at that. 276 gold, 150 prestige. Paris gains a trade route. That seems massive. Obviously, the plus two stewardship is going to help out a lot. And City Vassal opinion plus ten. Getting straight greedy. Ah, shit. I don't want greedy because we're a good Catholic. But I also don't want to give this dude 55 gold. I'm going to roll the dice. Oh, I, my, my logic for that was greedy is a good trait, even if it doesn't make us a good Catholic. Oh, shit. They stole my prized possession. Wait, who sieged? The castle in... All the, we must have a castle there. Wait, what? Why did we lose that? Why well, don't give a shit about that? Duke Roger tra steals my ancient weapon for taking a province that's not mine. Are we regent? No. Oh, we are region. Oh. So maybe that counts as ours then. I didn't realize we were region. Oh, I, 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 it's coming back to me now. Last episode, we became region. We can embezzle from her for 625%. Uh, uh, that's, that's absurd. I mean, obviously we're going to do that. <laughs> obviously we're going to embezzle from the crown. She's a tiny girl in hiding. We're a region with obviously high intrigue. That's insane. Oh, that's kind of annoying that as a regent you'll lose your stuff. Oh, please don't siege my capital. Get out of here. Do we want to join the court faction? I mean, as regent, that would make sense. We can also join the... I mean, court faction isn't bad. What do you want to say? Do you want to join it? Um, I'm not sure about that. Granting a landed title to any member increases relations. So if, she, if we don't like her, she might want to obviously give us a title to help things along there. 
And ideally, you're supposed to keep good relations with your factions. It's, it's you know, your sort of standard CK2 plus HIV feature. Um, HIV feature, did I call that? HIP feature. We're good relations with our tradition faction because I made this dude my uh, designated regent there. All right, you know what? I'll do it. I would like to join the prosperity faction instead, but we will. Um, you can only create or join factions when the council is discontent. Is this even going to work? No, it didn't even work. So we just basically improved relations with that dude and got nothing else out of it. Nice. Bringing Toot to the local monastery today, he meets many of my brothers and sisters doing penance. This is why, one of the reasons why I wanted him to be our student, because not only that, we can also teach him virtues by the right-click option, um, when we're a slightly higher level. Oh god, the plot was revealed. Doesn't matter too much, because she already had a minus 100 opinion of us, so we've actually lost nothing with that one at all. Please don't siege my, oh okay, that's, I was going to say, please don't siege our capital. Do we want to visit the monastery, where some guy has apparently come up with some sort of rose? Um, absolutely, why the hell not? We get, what's it, like dirty hands and lose some stewardship or something? Um, dirty hands, lose learning, sorry. Or we can gain green fingers, 60% chance of gaining a learning. Um, sure, why not? Let's try and gain one learning. What is it, what are we at right now, 11? I don't think we, don't think we got it, did we? Oh, we actually lost one. God damn it, you big shit. The tithes and taxes for Queen Agath, Ag Agatha, I assume that's Agatha, are on their way to a castle. My co-conspirators have bribed the guards not to notice if a chest or two should suddenly go missing. Everything is ready for the robbery to proceed. We'll all be rich. Lose the trait kind. 97% of the plot succeeds. So obviously kind is a, uh, a, honestly a fairly sizable price to pay there. We do gain some intrigue back. We gain plus two intrigue. Consider it like that and it doesn't seem so bad. Let's do it. We gain 100 gold. That's pretty cool. How often can we do that? We can do it again. Oh my god, we can just keep doing it. That's awesome. We are going to be rich, my friends. And everybody else wants in on it. So this is going to work out insanely well. well. We'll pay for some harvest festival. We can afford it now. Getting the trait stressed. If we can get our claim on Bruges now, this is going to be awesome. So we're trying to kill my wife. Why? No plots? Oh, we actually don't know. Let's bring our spy master back then for a bit. She's a good wife. God of Roy, Commander of Valois. Insanely good marshal. Look at this council, though. It's just so good. I mean, this is partially obviously down to the fact that we've got that Carling blood, right? So these boys want to turn up. Um, research military tech, although I don't normally do it. 13% chance yearly of secrets revealed. Might be good. Organize the army. Retinue cost maintenance. I would normally go for that one, but obviously it's pretty useless when, um, you know, A, we don't have retinue, and B, our commanders are already so good that we don't really need to improve them either. I'm going to go for this one. It's something I don't normally do, but seeing as we haven't really got anything else to do, why can we... Oh, Paris is ours, you big idiot. You big fool. Oh, no, they see Jolly on there, didn't they? I'm still a little bit confused. I'm, I'm not entirely sure they did take Paris there, but... I'll have to go back and watch that. I might have been just getting confused. Lose the trait novice fire. Who cares? Honestly, we weren't relying on that anyway. Oh my god, we're already 47. We've been on for 22 years. We've only had like three episodes. Well, to be fair, we've, we've succeeded a lot here. We've just got to hope that our next song comes out pretty well. You know what? Honestly, Lab I Get Carling. Uh, robust Voice Brave. Not coming out too terribly. 97% chance. 100 gold again, my boys. Can we just keep doing this over and over? Wait, hang on. Let some time ticks to see with the plot. Plot to embezzle. 641%. This is absurd. This is so ridiculous. Ah, an Avenger spy is saying someone's plotting to kill us. Bring that spy master home. We are important. Although I said bring it back for a while. Oh my god, it fired again. This is actually insane. Like, this is so broken when you're up against a six-year-old girl with, what, like, 20 intrigue and everybody else hates her as well? Like, genuinely insane. Can we not do it again? Oh, obviously I've got to wait for the plot to actually finish there. Um, oh, we can't embezzle again. Because she doesn't have any money. We've stolen all of the money from the French crown. What a heist. Like, it took us three three monthly installments. Can we just wait until she's gone back over zero and then just do it again, huh? Um, sure, we'll just say yes to that because we can't actually do it anyway. C collect a special... We're so rich. This is the episode where we got rich quick. We're not even part of the business. For no debasing the mints this time around. We can just do it whenever she's got one... As long as she's got one gold. This is broken. Is this not a little bit broken? Is it just me thinking this? Especially with the 600% plot power means it fires within the course of a few months. Son's got the flu. This is awesome. Sickness and death await us all. In the dungeon with flu, he's dead. That's minus three health. Get out of here. Get in the trait brave. 70% chance. We've done it. D my god, this episode has been insanely good for Duke Lubbaget. Like, we've we've really, really scaled this up. Um, we apparently got ourselves a... There we go, a new warrior. This carnal blood is also nuts as well, huh? Absolutely. I think I know who to replace. Get rid of that bishop. Get out, bishop. We've got ourselves some ridiculous... If we go to war... We're going to be able to crush everyone just because we've got, like, so many dudes in our court with 30 or around 30 Marshall here. Plus, he's a siege leader, too. And we're rich again. Well done, team. Incredible. And does that actually take 100 gold away from her, or is it just... 
Oh, it does actually take 100 gold by the looks of it. So we, so now we're on quite a cooldown. Now it's going to take a while. Oh, unless she, I guess, somehow gains some money instantly. She is making 6 point gold, oh, 6.4 gold a month there. She's back out in Bezel again. I mean, I thought the other series, for those of you not watching the, the Elder King series, we, we've had like this weird um, occurrence. I think it's an issue with the actual mod itself, but the, debasing the mint seems to happen like almost every six months. It's honestly like clockwork. This is, the, this is more overpowered than that. This is way more overpowered, because obviously with the basic mints, there's a downside. The downside to this, though, occasionally our plot's to be uncovered, and she'll hate us. She already does. Maybe if that 3% chance goes off, she'll trick us in prison or something. But we're a regent, so how would she do that? You can't imprison her own regent, though, can you? I have no idea. Maybe because it's a venture of it, it might be different. This is broken. Like, this is actually... Yes! Holy shit, this could not be going any better, my friends. Love I get Carling, dead. Died in the dungeons of... Hazogio Simon of Lotharanger. We now are playing as Toot Carling, the tall, genius, willful, and honestly affectionate's not bad either. Kind, content, or trusting. Content, terrible. Oh, actually, trusting's terrible as well. But we are ambitious, so I think we can remove content. Kind would be good, for obvious reasons. Look at this kid. 12 years old. 11, 5, 8, 11, 11, which is very, very good for what is essentially the base game here. Willful, or, or actually kind of more strict than the base game. You know, it's, it's, people consider HIP a little bit harder than the base game, to my knowledge. Willful. Ambitious, brave, stubborn. Obviously, all of those are... A stubborn, I believe, gives you a stewardship. Am I right in thinking that? Might be the other way around. It might give you, like, martial and takeaway stewardship. Either way, not too terrible. He actually got brave out of it. You saw that. He just got brave out of it. Which I would say is the best trait to get out of that one. Or maybe ambitious. But brave is also insanely good because ambitious is quite easy to get. This is nuts. This kid is nuts. We are going to give him a diplomacy education. Change tactic a little bit. Man, I'm so happy with this. God's blessing upon thee, Commissus Lubbaget. You've impressed us with your noble rule and adherence of the rule of St. Benedict. As a reward, I send you St. Benedict's finger bones. Saint's finger bone added to our treasury. Could this go any better? I don't know. Obviously, we lost our rusty weapon, which is a bit of a shame, but this is superior anyway. We could have both. I mean, it's not really. It's a false dichotomy there. But month of prestige, month of piety, very, very good there. The piety, especially, is going to be kind of a big help because I think we're probably going to die with maybe less than a 1,000 piety. I can't imagine we're going to get much above that. We could take a... Uh, we've already taken abstinence, right? Yeah, I was going to say, but we're already celibate, so we are gaining the, uh, the piety from that as well. What else can we do to quickly ramp this up? To be fair, we're getting four piety a month, which is a lot. Oh my god, we're getting ten prestige, though. Why? Um, Grand Chamberlain of France is giving us plus one. Regent of France is giving us 4.5. Right, that explains a lot. I was going to say, that's an absurd amount of prestige we're getting there. Fight Holy at C-Tip we can do. Donate to charity would give us some... I believe that gives piety, doesn't it? Monthly piety, yeah. Um, we can buy indulgence and make the Pope like us. What do we want to do, though? What have we got that we can teach our son? We can teach our son to be humble. Uh, how do you do... Let's teach virtue. How much do we need for that? We need 500 devotion, because we just ranked up, obviously we don't have enough. But that will take no time at all to get, I'd say. Now, I was saving up the money until we got a better province, but now I'm thinking to myself, what could be better than France, than, than Paris, as a capital for our empire? It's one of the best provinces in the game anyway, because obviously it's a it's a six, well, technically seven, I guess, holding uh, province. I think we just start upgrading it. And plus, it's already got a lot of buildings in it already, because it's frigging Paris, you know? It's, it's a pretty, you know, prestigious province to have. Let's start upgrading the place. Let's, let's really sink some cash into this. Keep seems good. Uh, obviously, you know, stage two gives us that 10% levy size, which is obviously great. I would really like to start working on the Flogies buildings because the Flogies buildings are incredible. Medium castle domicile. For that, we need the early wooden castle and that we can just build here. So let's absolutely start work on this. Maybe we could revoke the baronies under us. I suppose we don't really need to, though, do we? Build a temple. Oh, God, that seems like a waste. It seems like a waste of a slot, but it would also complete our mission. And obviously, I feel like that would be a good path to sainthood. 600 gold. Shit, that's such an investment. We're a good Catholic, but are we that good? Are we 600 gold good? Let's think of it this way. Sainthood with our first character would be awesome because it would give us access to great theologians and great marshals. Plus, the piety would be nice. Plus, the event associated around it would be great because I've never had that before. Because obviously, I've not played much Holy Fury. Plus, think of it this way. This is this is the Queen of France's money, not ours. This is all what we've just done this episode alone. I'm doing it. I'm, it seems crazy, but I'm doing it. And, the, um, you know, whenever we're going to get this build cost build time this low. I mean, besides leveling up. That would actually be twice as cheap. Um, yeah, in hindsight, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. We should probably wait till we, we were conversus. But hey, that's fine. And, and another thing that will complete our mission, we'll get a load of devotion, which we can use to teach our son virtues. So I think that's probably worth it, huh? All right. Uh, so, about that. When can we embezzle from you again? 
very, very soon. Let's start rebuilding our treasury. Now that we know this exists, we can basically, assuming she stays queen for that long, we can embezzle from this girl for another eight years. And that we seem to be able to do this once every few months. And obviously the plots are firing within a couple months as well. That's going to be thousands and thousands of gold. So what's... Like I was saying, is that not case in point right there? Is that not the perfect example? Obviously the downside to it is her monthly balance is naturally fairly low. Because she's, you know, got expenses. What, she got like a retinue maybe? Um, yeah, a very small retinue. She's probably also got, you know, armies very somewhere because the AI is an idiot like that. So, seven gold a month... Yeah, we could actually do this, like, every few months. We're, we're just going to be able to embezzle from her. Like, at least once a year, right? And you hear that in the background? That, my friends, is the sound of China, which has reminded me that we've actually got China set to free this time around, haven't we? Liu Empire, we could go on Kowtow. Um, with enough gold, actually, going to China is a very, very good thing. You know, the opportunity to buy uh, Chinese artifacts twice, I believe. Once when you're doing the tour around China with the Emperor. Once when you're obviously on your way. You can stop and visit a merchant and buy things from them. I actually think there might be three events, but that's fine. Um, send a concubine. Probably not a bad plan. We can send our own daughter. She's a genius as well. She's worth 200 points. Um, sure, absolutely. I think you'll like her. There you go. My daughter will be missed. We could have obviously married her off, which might have been a better idea for alliances, things like that. But you know what? Some early game Chinese artifacts would be pretty incredible. What have we got kicking around already? Seamless robes of Jesus, Saint's Fingerbone. Yeah, this is probably not a bad plan. Do we want to send in the Seamless robes of Jesus? 7,500 grace. Yeah, maybe not, huh? How much does he want for a gift? 500 gold, and he likes well. So that's actually going to be worth a fair amount of grace. I'm going to go on Kowtow. Why not? Let's do it. Let's get going. We've got really nothing else to do besides embezzling and building up Paris right now. So let's absolutely get to work here. We could oversee construction, seeing as we're already getting a fair amount of gold. I actually don't mind doing that at all. And this will obviously allow us to build up much, much quicker. Also, Mnemonic. Probably not good that we just left as we gain Mnemonic. Brave. Is he good? 15. Nah, just, just stick to the safe one. There we go. Successful treatment health plus two. That's pretty much cancelled that out there. We're now known as the Chaste. That, I think, is a pretty good title to get if you want to become a saint, my friends. Early wooden castle has been built in, front, in Paris. Right, there we go. So now we'll go down to... We are looking for the... What is it? The... Uh, what the hell can't I find it? Am I blind? It's like the, the early office, something like that. What the hell is it? What is it called? Medium castle domicile. So we need small castle domicile. There it is. Okay, I just couldn't see it. Right, so we'll start working on that one. Then I think we actually have to upgrade the next level of castle before we can carry on. Kowtow to China. Do we want to burn memory in honor of our father? I think that's cool. I think that's sort of playing back to the, uh, you know, this this family, this character actually having, even though he's a user-generated character, actually having some uh, some relatives there. That's kind of nicely uh, binding it all together. Tradition faction of uh, our duchy friendly. That's great news. It means that we're doing something well. We do, we're, we, you know, we're doing a, a good rulership here. Doing a good rulership. That sounds... That, that's pretty good grammar there. I feel better. Lose a trait mnemonic. Also great news. So, found a plot brewing in the realm. Who really cares? Do we know who's trying to kill us yet? Out of interest. Uh, fabricated claim on the duchy of somewhere, and that is our vassal. Oh, my friend. 48% chance. Let's send our marshal over there to go and increase the rest chance at 31%. Okay, yeah, this is going to be really, really easy, huh? Um, so, let's go ahead and imprison him, and we'll just ransom him out. Wait, what? Oh, wait. We've got to let some time tick first, maybe? 78% chance in my prison. Oh, God. Race this flag and rebellion. Okay. That was very, very unlucky. you got to admit. Right. Okay. Um, bring the troops together. We can crush him in no time at all. Castle Domicile built as well. Let's merge together. And we're going to grab this from him. Now he's going into rebellion. I suppose we have revoke, uh, revocation rights. But I actually don't think we have that legally allowed, though, do we? Um, Tower revocation is banned. That's a shame. We'll just have to ransom off for gold. And honestly, gold is what we want right now. Especially because of that. The County of Flanders. Lose 200 gold. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, I thought we actually had less gold than that. Um, oh, that's the duchy level title. Wait, Conte is duchy and... Oh, that's confusing. Um, maybe that means... Maybe that doesn't mean county, but I assumed it did. Uh, well, that's awesome. So we now got to come on all of this, which is fantastic, obviously. I think we'll be grabbing that. How much of that does he hold personally? Uh, two provinces. That's cool. We don't have the domain limit for it, so we're going to have to start setting up some vassals. But those are all great provinces. Like, Bruges is obviously a fantastic province. Again, seven holdings. Ghent. Or, sorry, I think it's actually pronounced Hent, isn't it? In uh, in the in the native speak. Uh, that's six province holding. Fantastic. All of these provinces around here are, ju are just great to grab. So that's worked out pretty well for us. Nomashan's Chronicle of Economic Principle. This is one of the events I was talking about. Lose 150 gold. Um, that, I feel like it's a bit ironic. Spending all of our money on economic principles. Sure, let's go for it. Why not? Let's try and actually embezzle a little bit more as well. I imagine, yeah, she's actually got enough gold to be able to do this pretty much back-to-back -back again. 
So hopefully this takes sooner rather than later, because I don't want to be in debt very much, if you don't mind. Um, everybody wants to join. Let's get this wall wrapped up very, very quickly so that we are not... Uh... Oh. Deus Vault, my friends. Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse. It's time for the Crusades. And now I don't know of the... There go the Knights Temple and the Knights of St. John as well. Right on cue there. We are a great saint. I feel like that would actually maybe push us into potentially sainthood if we went and fought in a big crusade against someone. So I imagine he'll launch that as soon as possible because it's the Pope. You know, whenever it's off the cooldown, he tends to jump on that with reckless abandon. Salt this down because we're in too much debt here. My lord, Reynald sends word of enemy courtiers found at La Roche-Guon and wishes to know if you desire any of them as prisoners. Leave them in peace. Or we take them as prisoner and really lose nothing over it. It's, I suppose it's just war, you know. It's not like uh, Saints didn't go to war all the friggin' time. Right, troops down. And let's ransom you off, and that will help pay off the uh, economic principle, obviously, we just got there. So, actually, we'll, we'll ransom everybody out. 105 gold. Pay for our economic principle. Speaking of which, so is the embezzlement. And I imagine we could probably just do it. We can do it immediately again. Look at that. Absolutely insane here. Right, plot to embezzle. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that one, my friend. <laughs> this, is, this is broken. Like, this is, this is broken here. I feel like we should just stick with intrigues. This is OP. Order of San Diego formed as well. we have getting all of our holy orders. Not that it's too relevant. In fact, it's not going to be relevant at all unless, like, Cathar or Fraticelli really takes off. Alright, it's time. This is pretty huge. As he's growing older, I can see that Toot could use some guidance in the... Oh, shit, is he almost... Uh, how old is he? He's 14. Oh, nice, look at that. Brave, kind. Not massively useful. Um, what did he get kind from? I don't remember. Was that affectionate? I think it was. Anyway, um, he deserves greatness. Go and get it. 67% chance of being ambitious. We become 25% chance of being bitter rivals. I like that. So, obviously, in the base game, it's just guaranteed you become bitter rivals, and it sucks. In CK2+, Plus, they make it so they just get a negative opinion of you for, like, many, many years. In this, they've basically done something similar. I do like this system, though. 25% chance of becoming bitter rivals, and he gets a push-me-too-hard malice anyway. So, that, that's kind of cool. Uh, if he gets ambitious now, I think we've got our air set up pretty goddamn nicely, huh? Proud. Man, that sucks. Uh, you know, ambitious or proud, that sucks a lot. Oh, a good night's sleep with this guy. You got a good night's sleep with this guy, huh? Yeah, that's going to be a no from me. What fucking swamp did you drag that dude out? Oh, Jesus, he genuinely looks a little bit like Shrek there. That's horrendous. Build a church, all in the name of God. There we go, it's actually finished. I mean, I don't personally want to keep that for myself. You can get rid of that one, team. Thank you. Right, okay. 500. Can we teach him anything else? Um, teach virtue. I don't think we actually have anything to teach him, do we? Oh, we're out traveling. Uh, we've got humble, so we could teach him to be humble. We could, obviously, personally flip back to uh, theology focus. And honestly, I'm going to go for that because business focus is nowhere near as lucrative as apparently just stealing from your liege constantly. So, uh, we, we are embezzling, right? This, seems, this plot seems to be... Oh, because we're out traveling. Right, of course it's going to take longer. Anyway, we move away from the business focus. Go back to theology so that we can hopefully gain some more... Um, what are they called? Virtues? And obviously teach our son. If we get like patient or diligent, throw him that. That's going to help out a lot. He's still got his education to finish off here. Hopefully we can get back within a couple of years to try and help that out as and when we can. Sure, we're missing the more comforting aspects of the faith. See what we get from that one. Uh, diplomacy plus one for 55 gold. Or we'll just say, yeah, the Benedictory in order will treasure it. Burn the apostate. Throw him in the dungeon. Who have we got? Adamar. Yeah, he's just a random courtier. Burn him. We'll take the piety. I'm honoured to be surrounded by minds like Botov, who became friends with our bishop. Again, we're quite saintly, all things considered. Considering we stole Jesus' robes, which is, let's be honest, that's going to earn us one-way ticket to hell, but what the church don't know won't hurt him. We can... Okay, so this is the other event I was talking about. We're on our tour with the Emperor. We can steal from them because of our high entry, but obviously that would lower our kowtow. Seeing as we're going to die soon anyway, we're 51. What do we get? 50% chance of getting gluttonous. Or we can buy a Chinese artifact for 200 gold. I've never done this one before, so I'm going to do it. We got the figurine of the current emperor, whose name I'm not even going to try and pronounce because I think it'll be a hate crime. 0 0.15 prestige. I'm glad we didn't spend the 200 gold. Obviously, obviously it's random when you do it, so that's kind of a, again, a little bit of a gambler's fallacy there. But, well, it's not quite gambler's fallacy, but not right. Anyway, that's, that's not right what I'm talking about. Um, glad we didn't spend the money either way because... We can build up our capital a little bit more because I've just noticed how the building's finished. This is awesome. How do you play this game? This might reflect one in the eyes of the Emperor or we gain patient or humble. Either which, w w one or the other. You know, it's 50-50. Everything's 50-50. It either happens or it doesn't. And this is true. What do we get? Patient is so good. So when we get back, our son is, is either going to be patient or humble. We're going to live long enough to probably teach him both. So that's absolutely awesome. We'll all be rich. Everything went as planned. 
Another 100 gold right there. And then, oh, she's only got minus 45, so wait a little bit longer, obviously. This is so good. Did she know about any of this? Well, only the schemes that have been uncovered, but obviously not the ones that have failed, so it doesn't matter too much. Resist my foul impulses. 10 more piety. Uh, let's obligate the vassal. Gain some legalism on him there. This episode has gone incredibly well. I'm actually overrunning, but I am enjoying playing this so much that it's kind of, you know, difficult to stop, huh? This has been great. This has been a, such a great episode for our boy Duke Lovaget, the chase of Valois. Despite everything, despite being a horrible, scheming, stealing little shit, we have definitely gone in, in some significant steps towards priestdom, towards sainthood, you know? We've lost Arbitrary. We've gained, you know, patient, which is obviously massive. We are gregarious too. Chased. We've, we've gained all the traced, I should say. Our son died, and we've got an incredible son to replace him. How could this go any better? And obviously, we've we've actually drained France dry. We've we've siphoned all of the taxes of France into our own personal treasury. This has been a great episode. Thank you all for watching. Unfortunately, the new Patreon list still isn't out. It was 98% processed the last time I checked, so unfortunately, that will be tomorrow. I've just noticed England has been renamed in game to Englandland, which is fantastic. What a great name! I only start calling it that in real life. Thank you all for watching. Let's give a shout out to all of our insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. A big shout out to Zachary Harris, Sarik, Sean Thornton, Haydock Zadini, Tim Bragg, Loris, Michael Mullen, Croesus, Bacchus Bacchus, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Paris Presley, Asuna Kirito, Logan Thorne, Conspire T, Jimbo, Orkswolf, Facundo Vasquez, Tom Terrier 18, Escape, Average Gamer 419, Jackson Woodman, and Mora. Thank you all for your support. The insane tier levels on Patreon. Like I said, new Patreon list will be available tomorrow. Even if they say it's not, I'll just I'll just do it all manually, which will take a while, but you know what? I think you guys deserve it. Speaking of which, a big shout out as well to Nathaniel Limburg, Brandon and Tonya, Euphrates, Jack Allen, Betamus Max, Pantherpole, Gabriel Van Ders, Luan and Thomas, Nathan Flores, Euron DeVries, Haji Dubar, Alpha Scuff, Kevin Saunders, Dunk22 and 7, Zach McDougall, Joseph Beer, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Hancock, Sir Paul the Swede, Asaro, Nick, Will Wade, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, and I See the Great. Thank you all for your support.